Chapter 7, Mishnah 8. Professional olive boilers, who boil the pulp of pressed olives in order to extract more oil, and dyers, who dye materials, would use large vats for their work. To prevent the contents of the vat from spilling over when boiling, they would stick clay around the top of the vat, giving the vat more height. The following testimony, found also in Kalayim 5.5, concerns the question of whether this clay rim is considered part of the vat and could therefore become tame, or it is a separate entity, in which case it cannot become tame. Menachem ben Signai testified about the addition to the vat of olive boilers, i.e. the clay rim attached to the top of the vat, that it is capable of becoming tame. Since the rim increases the size of the vat, it allows more olive pulp to be boiled at one time. It thereby assists in the basic function of the vat, which makes it part of the vat. Thus, like the vat, it can receive tuma. However, the rim attached to the vat of dyers is tahor, i.e. it cannot become tame. In this case, the dyers would not add more dye to the vat. The rim's only purpose was to prevent occasional spillage. Since the rim does not assist in the basic function of the vat, it is viewed as a separate item, which is unable to receive tuma. It was necessary for Menachem ben Signai to give this testimony, because the sages used to say the opposite. The rim of the olive boiler's vat cannot become tame, while the rim of the dyer's vat can.